Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with the Cool Tone Look uh, from the palette that I just got. And I thought we'd go ahead and get started with what I have on today. Did go ahead and pick up the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. I got mine in light because I still have some um, color from the summertime. I yeah, this is me with a tan. So, um, but it's a tinted hydrator. It has hyaluronic acid and squalene in it, and it it feels very moisturizing and very cushioning on your skin. And it's really good product. Um, I got my original and fair, and like I said, I still have some color from the summertime. So I picked up one in light. Really good product. I think it's only like five fifty or so in the store. And um, then as far as what I went ahead and mix this with, I mixed it with the Essence Magic Filter. And this is like the Halo Glow. It's one of the, um, you can, it's a glowy product that you go ahead and mix in with your foundation. Uh, the nice thing about this one is that it's less expensive than the Halo Glow, but it definitely doesn't give you as much product, so it doesn't give you as much. But um, both really good products so far. And I have this one in light. And then as far as what I have on for brown or bronzer, I have the Buttercup. And this one is by NYX. So that's what I have on there. To go ahead and use, um, yeah, this one. And this one is Shock Value um, from the new uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. And this is put out by Wet n Wild. And so I have this one on uh, both on the cheeks and the lips today. I did go ahead and pick up this one as well. And this is Lockdown. Um, I featured this in the Warm Tone video. So I have uh, this on the cheeks on the Warm Tone one. Uh, but like I said, for today, I have a shock value on, and this one has the witch on the front. So, yeah, they did really good on the packaging, and these are glass bottles, so that's nice. Um, I did go ahead and use the Essence Make Me Brow as far as brows today. And then as far as what I went ahead and used for the highlighter, did use another Wet n Wild front, uh, yeah, this one is Curiouser and Curiouser, and this is from the Alice in Wonderland um, collection, and this is the highlighter, so that's what I have on there. Wet n Wild always does really good highlighters, and um, I think this is an older palette, but it's the Mega Glow highlighters, and so they'll have... Um, these in single pans that you can pick up in the drugstore. And if you're looking for a highlighter, don't want to break the bank, I would definitely go ahead and suggest the Wet n Wild ones. Um, and like I said, I did go ahead and use this one today. And this one is Curiouser and Curiouser. I think probably you would have to order this one from their website. This um, is an older collection. And as far as my finishing powder, I did go ahead and use Catrice Sungasm as far as that goes. And then um, I did go ahead and use Wet n Wild, uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas as far as my eyeshadow today. Went ahead and started with this one in my crease, uh, then this one on the corner from here to here, and then from here to here. So I used uh, this one right under the brow and right on the inner corner. This one is really pretty duochrome and it goes white to purple. I think there's some pink in there too, so it's a really pretty one. And it's one of those, there are a whole bunch of textures. You know how with these um, drugstore palettes, a lot of times there's just one texture. Well, this one has uh, two glitters in there, this and this. And then this one is a cream texture is really good as far as um, giving you a little bit of a highlight right under your brow or, or right on the inner corner. So yeah, this palette is really like it. And then this one's glitter. It actually looks like it's a holographic one because it has all sorts of different Let's see if we can get some more of that on there. All sorts of different colors of glitter in it is what I was meaning to say there. 
So really pretty. And um, let's see, what else did I do here? Um, I used uh, this one on the outer corner, and then I used this one from about here to about here on the lid, so on the inner to about midway point on the lid. Um, and like I said, I put this glitter right on top here. This one has a whole bunch of different colors of glitter in it, but it's pretty finely milled, really pretty as well. And then as far as, I'm trying to think what else I did here. I think I went ahead and used this one as well, like right above the crease. So this is the one that I have right above the crease. And it does um, definitely a cool tone look, much more of a gray cool tone look than a dark blue one. Um, but this palette is really pretty and it's kind of unexpected. I did a warm tone look with it and you can definitely get cool tone looks. You can e even get a couple of rosy looks out of here. So it wasn't what I expected, but I'm really enjoying it and I'm really liking how my looks are ending up to be a little bit different and kind of fun. And I did go ahead and use the ColourPop uh, gel eyeliner with this and also the Panorama Mascara by L'Oreal. And this is the way that uh, the look came out. So I think it turned out really well. Again, it's coming out more gray than it is blue, um, but really wearable looks. And it's really a good pa palette with a lot of variety and a lot more variety than I thought that it was going to have in it. So I think it worked out pretty well. Um, let's see. Oh, the medical, medical, yeah. Um, the, I'm going to put a little bit of this over the top here. These ones from Wet n Wild are pretty long wearing. Um, but again, if you go ahead and put a lip gloss over a product like this, it's going to go ahead and take the wear time down a lot because that's what products like this do. So if you don't want to reapply, then definitely don't put a lip gloss on top of it. But I think they're pretty. So yeah, really good color here. Both of these turned out to be really good colors. And they are uh, for both the lip and the cheeks, so um, definitely an uh, unexpected part of the collection that I ended up really liking a lot. There's actually a third one that's a plum one, and I may go ahead and pick that one up too because, like I said, it's you know it does double duty. You can wear it on your cheek and on your lip, and uh, they're very matte. They have a lot of pigment, and uh, they wear for a nice long time. So, yeah, and they had the characters right on the front, and that's so cute. That makes me want to pick up the packaging, and it's also a glass bottle. So again, really. Well, yeah, really good packaging, Wet and Wild. You did really good on this one. And um, I think that's the whole video for today, but I wanted to make sure that I got a cool look out, or a cool, yeah, look uh, done with this palette. And again, it's running a little bit more muted, more in the gray area, and um I was actually expecting it to be a little bit more purple, but like I said, it's definitely going sort of gray. So a lot of variation and a whole bunch of different formulas in here, and so really fun. I would definitely go ahead and pick up this palette. It's definitely just a little bit different and just gives you a little bit something that you don't usually get with the drugstore palette, and in a good way. So uh, that's a video, and I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.